Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at Layer 2 security threats. We'll be discussing Layer 2 vulnerabilities, switch attack categories, and finally switch attack mitigation techniques. This episode is part of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials for the Cisco Certified Networking Associate, also known as the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. We got the OSI model here. This is the OSI. This is pretty close to the TCP IP model or the TCP model. And most people, what they do is for layers three through seven is where they implement the security. We, we get all sorts of security based at this level. A lot of people look at and say, okay, for IP addresses, we can set up firewalls, we can set up access control list, and then we can have firewalls here that look at the different layer four ports. And then we have all sorts of different softwares and ways to protect up here. But if layer two gets compromised and the compromise starts here, anything above that is compromised, even if you have all of your security built in here. And what I'm talking about is if a threat actor accesses your layer two, they, they get in there, they capture some layer two frames, and then they're able to manipulate those frames. They're able to see what's in those frames, understand your network. They can cause a lot of problems to your network. We need to look at the layer two also. Layer three through seven, we have a, a lot of times we have a pretty good handle on that. We do need to make sure that we look at our layer two issues. Several attacks here that can happen at the switch are layer two protocols. We have MAC table attacks. This is looking at the MAC table on a switch, seeing, okay, we're gonna cause a problem. One of the big ones we have here is a MAC address flooding attack. We have some VLAN attacks, including uh, VLAN hopping, VLAN double tagging. It, that, that can get you into places where you're not supposed to be. DHCP, we have some starvation attacks, spoofing attacks in there. ARP attacks, where we're looking at the address resolution protocol. We have some spoofing and poisoning attacks that go with that. We have some address spoofing, where a device pretends to be a different device. And we also have spanning tree attacks that let a threat actor pose like a man in the middle attack and see all the data that's going across your network. To help us mitigate against those attacks, there are some things we can do. We can do port security. We can do DHCP snooping, dynamic ARP inspection, IP source guard. But even if we do all of these if we don't protect our management, we don't encrypt our management protocols, if we don't secure those, everything we do just isn't gonna matter because somebody will see our, our management being sent in clear text. And what we're talking about is encrypted versus unencrypted, Telnet versus SSH. And so what we always should do is when, when you're looking at this for management, and so for management, you should always use SSH, encrypts that, traffic when you're connecting into a router into a switch to make those changes we should use secure copy protocol that encrypts the data as you send it ftp has some issues speaking of S ftp if you have to use it make sure you use the secure ftp you make sure you are on a dedicated management vlan create a special vlan just for management that way, the only people that should be in that in that VLAN, any traffic that should be in that VLAN is just for management. Your normal users should never be in there. And of course, one of the big things we need to make sure we do is look at our access control list. Controlling who has access to what networks, what networks can get into what devices, what, act, what networks are allowed through my devices. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on layer two security threats. 
If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on switching routing wireless essentials for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.